You know what three things I hate more than anything? I hate a bitch who can't make a plan. I hate fake people who don't keep their promises. And I hate people who waste my time. The brawny motherfucker who runs. Well, I guess ran is more like it. The 15.ai website exemplifies all three, and I'm sick of it. When your site is known to be down for hours, or a crappy social media site. If it's down for days at a time, you're a poorly maintained app. If it's down for weeks, it's a multi-level marketing scam. If it's down for months, well, actually, if it's down for months, it's still not 15.ai yet, because 15.ai is the only fucking site I've ever encountered that's known to be down for years at a time, not months. Years with a fucking capital Y. Which is goddamn insane. And you know, I've worked retail, I've worked minimum wage, thankless jobs, I know I'm mighty tech, but I respect the pressure. I respect what it must mean for this dude to have so many people waiting on his work. But after a certain point, you gotta have more respect for yourself. The thing that really kills me with this guy is a lack of communication. Your work's hard and you're one guy, and we're all thankful. But why won't you pipe the fuck up? All these voices, and you can't use your own. Tell us what's up, man. Was there a lawsuit? Did you get doxxed? Did your tech get stolen? Are you sick and in the hospital? Are you dead? And that's about what I assume by the year-long mark. It's how I treat people on Discord. If you're a wall and there's no response for upwards of a year, you're dead. And if you're not dead, you're still dead to me specifically. So it doesn't matter. I see these people in his Twitter replies doing the usual thing whenever he does bother to give the most vague-ass statements with all the regularity of Haley's fucking comet. You know, all the yes, take all the time you need, you can't rush perfection, you come first, don't overwork yourself, crap. And I wonder if they feel like fools yet, because that's how I feel. I had fun shit I wanted to do, of course, and hell, I might have even subscribed to the Patreon that funds the stupid ass site, if I thought it would go anywhere. But children have literally been conceived, just as did, and born in the time since this site was last up. It's not coming back, is my guess, and if it is, it's not meant for me. It's not meant for me or anyone else with an actual life to fucking live. So here I am, with what should have been a side at best, the fine voice app, and she works. She may not have big, giant, round voice archives like you did 15, but she's functional, she's here for me, when you haven't been. I've decided to give her the upgrade to main text-to-speech application. The plan when you were here was to talk about K-pop with Riseka Jika's voice, which would have been appropriate. You know, since she's an idol and all. But now I guess we've got Randy Orton's monotone instead. Maybe that's okay. Maybe Randy Orton isn't a K-pop and stands Luna. Someone whose thighs are that juicy, and whose pecs are that shiny. Probably does. It would dad up, is all I'm saying. I've moved on 15, and I just want you to know, I regret every minute I spent waiting on you. I'm probably not the only one.